Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review of the latest episode of What We Do in the Shadows, Colin's Promotion. And I really like this one because it delved into uh, Colin Robinson and his own kind of story, and we hadn't really, we'd had him in the background a lot, he had his own kind of bits, but this was a nice one that kind of got him into the spotlight and kind of showed off some kind of cool shit that energy vampires can do. And kind of showing why it's probably more advantageous that he be in kind of the background annoying role because it just works better for his kind of vampire. So we start off and we see him doing his usual kind of routine in the office pretty much using his throat clear and annoying people with it but then he gets called into the office and he's like really being like no 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 don't do this or whatnot and come to find out he's he one didn't know what the fuck the company did he's like well, maybe i'll find out what i do today and he thought that he was going to get like fired or something but he was actually going to be it was a damn promotion and he really didn't want to take it at first because he likes hanging out with his vampire roommates even bringing up like oh yeah uh co-workers die but uh vampire roommates they're forever and it's like okay it's kind of cool that okay this is how he views his relationship with the housemate granted he's usually not always he's not <laughs> really brought in a lot on most of the stuff but he still views them as friends even though he does feed off of them and you really see that kind of weird relationship as he starts to kind of figure that out not not that he doesn't know that he feeds on them he does but how that feeding affects how the others view him because he comes back home and nandor laszlo and nadja and guillermo are pretty much rotating the artwork now and Nadja's like yeah i've seen this and all that and pretty much calling picasso a picasso hole and all that kind of stuff i'm like okay interesting and they're like no screw you he's trying to tell him about the promotion and they're just shutting him like fuck you you're trying to feed on us fuck you and that's the one thing he does it well he kind of reflects on it in that as he's down in his room talking about it, he's like well i kind of wanted like reassurance or maybe like yay support but that's the thing about an energy vampire you don't know when they're being sincere or when they're draining you so he does start coming to terms with that but it doesn't really work that well until it gets to the end of the episode so he decides to take the promotion and he's like going on and we see him like using his power pretty much calling people in doing bat shit insane things but the thing is it's not the like most bat shit insane shit that like most bosses have done it's it's kind of crazy because i'm watching it and i'm like yeah this kind of sucks but it's not worse than real life it's a weird thing, man. He's like, okay, he come, he calls a dude in to tell him what kind of tree he thinks he is, and then to write a two thousand word essay on why he chose maple tree. I'm like, mm, that actually could be more productive than some people actually. And just telling people to do certain uh, weird, stupid things because he's then draining their energy off of them. And we see him kind of be like, okay, cool. Uh, he goes in to do this. Uh, presentation he's like well now we'll figure out i think we either do playgrounds or landmines i don't know but the thing is he starts learning how advantageous it is to be in this boss position as he's doing the thing and people have to like laugh or deal with what's going on because the projector goes out he starts seeing it and starts feeding off of it he's like man i feel jacked up he's like in the bathroom he fucking crushes a trash can like it ain't nobody's business and that's just the beginning as we see that okay now he's in a... Uh, usually he's been almost a parasite sucking things off. Now he's almost like at an apex predator level as we see him going through and messing with shit. As he starts getting hair, he can even drain people without even going that much into things. He can just say phrases. Uh, he even got to the point where he just did finger guns, uh, finger gun pointing at these two people and they went down. He like can immediately suck energy out of like plants and shit fucking sucks one of the cameramen and is like oh shit he gets a full fucking head of hair he like rubs his head and he's like boom like holy shit and you see his personality start getting more 
kind of like a um, uh, not aggressive in like Colin Robinson's kind of way being like I ain't taking your shit fuck you kind of shit as he comes back home at one point and they're like um well what if you pick a painting or what and he's like uh, yeah fuck you you don't give a shit about me and he's like oh, I was always partial to this one and you're like why is he partial to that one and then we see how it kind of brings in the whole uh, rest of the group as we find out that that is a painting of a raid that happened on Nadja's village and that it was actually done by Nandor like 200 years prior to her and she's pissed off about it they start fighting about it and we see that like Colin Robinson did this to start feeding off of him Guillermo starts figuring it out but he's gotten so powerful that he can just walk into the house and pretty much suck him dry to the point where they're just like turn pretty much turn into old people except Guillermo I wanted it's mainly just the vampires that start aging and looking haggard now Nadja tried to do some kind of shit to like get him to do list and all that as they were trying to combat him as his head was fucking huge the effects in this one were fucking on point with how they were changing up what was going on the Colin Robinson and all that shit it was like okay him taking out those plants and everything people falling down him his head fucking huge how they put the hair on his head him flying when he's got to the point it's like what the fuck so they're pretty much in the crisis point of getting ready to expire uh not just on one end saying like Laszlo come over here and die next to me and Laszlo's like you come over here and then he's just like oh, fuck it and it was funny at one point uh they're like we need some energy Guillermo come over here and put your neck in my mouth kind of shit and it's just like oh god they're in a bad spot it was really interesting to see how the power dynamic shifted of like an energy vampire that fucker can't do shit and then when you get it amped up with like a thousand cowboys running around in that motherfucker it ain't no joke until he comes in and he sees that he split himself into three it's like what the fuck is going on here what kind of power is that and this kind of becomes his downfall. He comes to the point where, like, okay, should he have done this? Because he starts arguing among himself. Because one of his copies decided to call himself a seaman. And, of course, that sounds like seaman. And they start arguing with each other and essentially start draining each other to the point where they pretty much die. And then the rest of the housemates pretty much come back to normal. And like, yeah, we're going to bury him out next to pretty much where we think was his favorite part of the fence because he just hung out there a lot and they just put him in a hole and he had one of the paintings that they weren't going to put up was this one that he'd done on a Texas instrument of him and the housemates and they decided to put it in there uh, Laszlo had a nice touching kind of eulogy for Colin Robinson he's like yeah that one time you are telling me about like 19th century naval battles I was actually kind of interested in it but the thing is, I didn't want to tell you because I thought you'd probably stop if you did. And I was just like, that's actually really sweet. Uh, <laughs> Laszlo's kind of an interesting character because he usually, uh, you'd usually think that he would just be more of like, an outright asshole. But he does have moments like this where it's like, oh, he did kind of view him as a friend. And of course, Colin Robinson comes up with, yeah, I just wanted to see what you guys would do for my eulogy. Are they alive? He's like, hey guys, come on out. Oh, evidently they're dead. And... That's pretty much the end of that. He uh, had to leave his job because, what's, as you can see, once a parasite gets into the, like, the upper echelons of something, it completely destroyed the company. It was like in financial ruin, so he just pretty much walked into another place and pretty much is like, oh yeah, I'll just set up shop here and see him starting his whole thing all over again. And we end the episode out with the whole painting they decided to fix it, and what fixing it meant was that Laszlo put Najin naked on one place, and that turned Nandor's uh, portion in there into Laszlo and said, oh, you're in there, man. And he really didn't apologize at all because that had evidently ruined the village, made a lot of people stupid and shit, and she was pissed off about it. And that's about as much resolution as we got. And they're like, eh, it i.e. there really isn't a resolution they're just like all right fine this kind of fucking works deal with it because then was like i'm sorry i did my job it was just 200 drunk guys doing shit and i'm like yes because it's always natural for 200 drunk guys to get together and fucking raid a goddamn village 
maybe it happened more back in the olden days than it does today, which I don't, I don't, it could have probably pretty much did, but I'm just like, holy shit, like, you try and see, like, drunk people coordinating certain things, I'm like, huh, okay, but I really liked that they added that piece and that Nandor and Nadja have some kind of history like that. That's like, okay, that's really cool world building and lore building. And seeing, of course, all the lore building with what goes on with energy vampires and everything. And just having a cool Colin Robinson-centric episode that, yes, we got back to stage the status quo and everything but we learn more about the character we learn why it's not good for him to be in a top position because he can't really help himself it's also how the position is designed to be a boss he can like absorb all that energy and shit and become a giant flaming douche and <laughs> that's like okay that's good information to learn and i just like all right can't wait to see what else we get to next so those are my opinions on the episode. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.